Well, hello everyone. My name is Michael Stern. I'm here in the United States in Arizona. I want to welcome you to iHub Global. If you're looking at this for the first time, I want to welcome you to what I believe is a very, very bright future. So I'm going to talk a little bit about um, who iHub Global is and how this all came about. So about 10 months ago, um, in August of 2020, I was talking with a colleague of mine and he posed an interesting question. He said, would you be interested in owning a piece of the world's largest wireless network? Now, I didn't really know what he was talking about, but uh, it was an interesting proposition. And so I said, well, tell me more. And I found out that it had to deal with something called the Internet of Things or IoT. Now, I had vaguely heard that term before. I didn't really have as strong sense of what it was all about. I knew there's different kinds of devices that output data to make things more convenient, more cost effective, um, more efficient, but I didn't really know much more than that. And as I started looking into this, I realized that uh, there were quite a number of different applications for this. And I was pretty shocked to find out that the current marketplace for this IoT arena was already over $800 billion globally with some 8.4 billion devices connected to the internet, more devices than people, and projected over the next four years to exceed $2.4 trillion with some 70 to 80 billion devices but still trying to get my head around what is this all about? What does it mean? It really kind of came uh, more clear to me when we were sharing the concept with some people, asking them, hey, are you familiar with the internet of things? And practically everybody said, no, I don't really know what that means, except for one guy. He said, oh, well, sure, I know everything about it. I own a vending machine company and all my vending machines are connected to the internet. In fact, they place their own order to resupply the inventory of each vending machine so that when the person goes to carry those supplies, all they have to do is look at their mm -hmm. iPad and they know what to take to each particular unit. And I thought, well, that's a very practical application, but there are thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of different applications for this IoT industry. But this company that's actually putting together this world's largest wireless network is based out of San Francisco in the States. It's called Helium, and it's comprised of some very forward-thinking entrepreneurs and engineers. And back in 2013, when the company first began, they began after they had done a very intensive analysis of what was going on in this IoT industry, even back then. And they recognized that the, the real crux to the issue is you got all these devices, all these different sensors, all kinds of different things that output data to do wonderful things, but somehow that data needs to find its way to the internet for that process to take place. And they recognized that there wasn't any simple global process for that to take place, that, that different companies had their own infrastructure they had to build. Other companies were relying on cellular data plans through telephone companies, uh, paying those kinds of fees, and it was very difficult to interface with what they were doing. So the folks over at Helium saw that there was a significant opportunity to provide a solution and that solution came in the form of what they call their helium hotspot. Now, they saw that there was already an industry standard within the IoT space that was forming up that had to do with um, a process called LoRa radio. LoRa just stands for long range. It's, it reaches out about 200 times farther than Wi-Fi. It's in a biologically safe radio frequency range just above FM radio. Uh, and so this is what a lot of the companies were already moving towards. And there are literally hundreds of millions of IoT devices out there that already use a LoRa radio transmission to get their data to the internet. The problem is, is some place needs to receive that transmission and that has to be a device that carries it to the internet. So Helium saw that they would build these devices that would receive those LoRa transmissions and then they would create this worldwide network to get it to the internet. Now, they could have done what most typical tech companies do, where it's totally centralized, they control everything, they monetize everything under the umbrella. But the folks over at Helium decided to do this in a decentralized fashion. And that meant that they wanted to 
put this peer to peer network together and allow us as individuals to have our own node on this network. And that means that anytime somebody adds one of these helium hotspots to the network, it's increasing the actual range of coverage. The geographical area around where we are would add that additional coverage to this worldwide platform that was being built. And to incentivize us to do this, what they did is they created their own cryptocurrency blockchain and their own cryptocurrency token called Helium, which has the letters HNT. In order to incentivize us to do this, through a concept that's called proof of coverage mining of these helium tokens. And I'll get into a little bit more about that. But what's the business community thinking about this concept? Well, they started shipping these first hotspots in the, in the, the end of 2019, December of 2019 was when they first started being received. And then Fast Company did an article considering it one of the 10 most innovative consumer electronic companies of the year. And even back in 2019, Time did an article and they likened it first. Well, first they considered it one of the best inventions of the year, but they likened it to a miniature cell tower. Now, not that this has anything to do with cell phones or cell towers, but they recognize that in order for cell phones to be used massively by the public, it required a very, very large infrastructure build of cell towers to allow that process to take place. And that provided an opportunity for a lot of people to invest in cell towers and have residual income, even continuing today. And so they saw that this was another huge infrastructure build that would bring that kind of an opportunity to people, but at a much, much easier accessible amount of around $500. And then in the cryptocurrency world, Decrypt Magazine wrote an article when Helium flipped the switch on their innovative wireless network for the Internet of Things. And Fortune Magazine talks about how major companies like Nestle and Lime Scooter are already using the Helium network to get their IoT data to the Internet through the Helium network. So what's in it for us? Why are we going to go ahead and get one of these devices, put it into the network? Well, something that that we're excited to be sharing there's there's zero cost involved in getting these hotspots uh, you've got an opportunity for getting one of these devices to put into your location without anything out of pocket uh, there's no monthly fees there's nothing involved with it uh, but it does mean uh, in order to really generate significant helium that you need to have at least three units nearby where you are to form what we call a cluster. When you do that, you can be earning as much as 50 helium tokens a month from one of those devices to 50 helium tokens a week or more, uh, depending on how many units are in the area. The more units in the area, typically, the more helium production that's created through something that they call proof of coverage, which is their mechanism that's generating the helium tokens. <laughs> proof of coverage, creating the coverage for the IoT devices. So what's the value of these tokens? Well, it was first exchangeable about a year ago on the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, Binance. And when that happened, this company, Pick a Crypto, did an analysis of where they saw uh, this entire model going. And they were so impressed with it, they actually thought that the value of the token could exceed $5 before the end of 2020. Well, they didn't quite hit that mark. Uh, it did get a little over $4 in late September. But in their analysis, more importantly, they felt that between now and 2025, the token could be getting into the $40 to $80 range per token. And we've had other people doing uh, more extensive evaluations, talking about that being considerably more. But where is Helium right now? Uh, it's currently about $12.50. It's kind of bouncing around to like $11 to $15 right now in the last month. Helium, I mean, cryptocurrency has been kind of bouncing around a bit. Helium's been doing exceedingly well in that. But it is definitely on the way to moving into the projections that people are talking about. So let's talk a little bit about our company, iHub Global, uh, of which I'm one of the co-founders of the company. Just as Helium did their analysis of what was going on in the world of the Internet of Things back in 2013, we did an analysis starting 10 months ago 
of what was going on in the helium business model and the helium community that has been created as a result of that business model. And we saw that there was a massive opportunity to put together an affiliate program to rapidly expand the awareness of this, to help people get involved in building this network around the world and putting together a leveraged commission structure to essentially incentivize that even in a much greater way than the original incentive model that Helium created with their cryptocurrency proof of coverage concept within the miners themselves. And so we got together with the world's largest authorized supplier of these Helium hotspots, a company Cal called Calchip Connect. We explained what we wanted to do and they help us with some of their connections to put together the ability to have units that were specifically programmed to allow us to do something that is really unique with iHub, and that is to create a distribution model where the, the amount of helium that is created by a unit is able to be dispersed through a model to really drive this whole mechanism. But this whole concept provides an opportunity completely unprecedented. So we like to look at this thing from a very realistic point of view as kind of a passive income generator, something that's independent of what's going on in the world of the pandemic or the world economy. Uh, we're not an MLM company, we're an affiliate program with, with an unbelievably powerful commission structure built into it. Uh, you don't have to get involved in recruiting people in order to participate. Although when you see and understand this concept, you'll recognize there's an opportunity to get a piece of the action of what's going on with countless numbers of other of these devices around the world as this network is being built globally. And then once you get this device, you take it, you plug it in, it only uses less than a dollar a month in electricity. Um, you plug, hook it up to your internet connection. It uses very little of your internet bandwidth. And then it syncs to the Helium blockchain and it starts generating these Helium tokens 24 seven, 365 days a year. So in our model, our concept has to do with leverage. Now for 40 years, I've referred to this J. Paul Getty quote where he said that he'd rather have 1% of the efforts of 100 people than 100% of his own. And so we've kind of taken that and sort of uh, restructured that in relative to IHUB Global. Uh, my partner Chuck came out with the expression that he'd rather have 5, 10, 15% of hundreds, thousands or more hotspots and 100% of his own. And let me explain how that works within our iHub affiliate global model. So if you take a look at a, a unit earning 100 Helium tokens and how long it takes to earn that 100 Helium tokens is gonna depend on the placement, the number of other units in the vicinity. So whether it's a week, a month or three months, let's just say, because it's a nice round number, it earned 100 Helium tokens. So how do we distribute that? Well, 40% of that 100 or 40 tokens is gonna to go to the location where one of these units is placed. And remember, there's no cost to the person having where that location is. So they're gonna get up to 40%. Uh, I'll explain how it's up to 40% a little later, but imagine it at 40%. So 40 of those 100 tokens on the location. The person that referred that individual uh, to Helium that, that reached out to them to say, hey, you really need to put one of these in your location. And even being able, because of our new software acquisition, to evaluate that location in advance and say, hey, this is what you're gonna earn. You got a good chance of earning 40 Helium tokens a month or every other month in your location based on the intelligence of our software, they're gonna get 10% of that 100 tokens for referring that individual or 10 tokens. And then we've got other aspects of our commission structure, another four different 5% portions of it that are based on different activities in our affiliate program that I'll cover lightly as well, um, that also get paid out and that leaves uh, 30%, so 70 out of 100 tokens or 70% of every, what this miner is creating is getting paid back to the field. Another 30% is going to the investors 
that are actually involved in purchasing these units so that we can provide them to the people that are hosting the units, to our partners involved, and to iHub to make this whole process a reality. So let's take a look at some actual activity. Every single one of these Helium hotspots, including our own iHub miners, are on the Helium blockchain, and that makes them completely publicly accessible, totally transparent, no smoke and mirrors. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Currently there, you can see there are a bunch of units there, probably, uh, I, you know, in the, in the many thousands of units. We've hardly scratched the surface. It's going to take probably I'm guessing, and it is somewhat of an educated guess, 20 to 30 million units to completely cover every city around the world to have this IoT network so these devices can get to the internet. And that's the goal of the company and one that we'll be accomplishing over the next three to five years. So in this, in this application, we can zoom in to any one area and take a look at what each individual dot is doing. This is just zooming into the London area. So you can see all these dots represent individual units. The, the pink ones are units that have not yet gone online. They're in the process of going online. I wanna take a look at some specific units to give you a sense about this. And to do that, I'm gonna start off over in Vero Beach, Florida. I'm gonna take a look at a particular unit now. And so every one of these units has got this kind of fun name to it. It's two adjectives and a, and a name of an animal. This is the trendy tan duck. So what we're looking at here in white is this trendy tan duck. What we're looking at here with these gold dots with the lines going to them is represented by units in the area. Now, so what is this trendy tan duck generated over the last 30 days? Well, it's generated 190 helium tokens over the last 30 day period. So what would that actually represent? Uh, to the person that got the unit, he would get 40%, that's 75 helium tokens. At, seven, at, at uh, about $12.5 per token right now, that would represent $945 that Rick earned with zero cost out of his pocket other than a dollar a month in electricity for putting one of those units in his facility. And the person that referred Rick would get 10% or 19 tokens times $12.5. That's $238 for referring Rick for doing this. Okay. I want that to sink in for a second because in this example, not a single person paid anything other than uh, Rick paying a dollar a month in electricity for doing it. The person in iHub, there's no cost to become an iHub affiliate. There was no cost for him to make that referral to Rick. And yet it's generated $238 for the referral and $900 plus for Rick for doing it. So when you think about that for a second, you're going, well, this is crazy. Where's the money coming from to buy all these units? Well, remember in our model, we pay our investors a portion of what each unit is generating, and they're very happy to participate in it because the numbers are very exciting. Let's take a look over in the London area. I want to go to the strong sand chicken here. Uh, this is uh, south of London, you can see south of the Thames, this strong sand chicken over the last 30 days has generated 219 helium tokens. If that person was a member of iHub, uh, what they would get, uh, they pay nothing out of pocket to get that unit in there. Um, and they get, would get 40% of 219 tokens or about 88 tokens at twelve and a half dollars in that one 30 day period, that's over a thousand dollars US, about eleven hundred dollars US that they get because they're essentially agreeing to help expand the network and put one of these units in their location. But the person that referred them very simply would get about 22 tokens at twelve and a half dollars, two hundred and seventy five dollars in today's value. But I do want to point out 
that the value of these tokens is projected to increase significantly. And so I encourage people who are part of iHub like ourselves to not just rush out the minute you get a Helium token that you've earned from this and spending every one of them and converting them into pounds or euros, but to spend some time holding on to some of them, whatever you can afford to do. Uh, my partner, Chuck, got involved in a Bitcoin company back in 2013 and earned thousands and thousands of Bitcoins. And then in 2000, uh, uh, right around to later in 2013, when Bitcoin hit a high of $12, like Helium is right now, he sold every one of them and thought that he had hit the lottery. But 10 years later, when, he, when Bitcoin exceeded $10,000 per unit, he realized that he would have been much wiser to have held back on some of those Bitcoin. So he could have gotten $10,000 for a token rather than $12 that he got seven years prior to that. Actually, it was only four years prior to that, in 2017, when it got to $10,000 per coin. Let's take a look at one more. This is the Shallow Walnut Yak. Uh, this is a little bit west of, of London, kind of between Chiswick and Kensington. This unit has received over the last 30 days, 561 tokens. If you were the referrer of that individual, you, you reached out and told them about iHub. They got one of these units into their location. They would get 40% of 561. So 561 times 40% uh, at $12.5 per token, that's $2,800 US they would have gotten for this one 30-day period uh, within what they're doing. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, and then if you were the one that referred that individual, you would have gotten 10%, 56 times 12 and a half. That would have been $700 that you earned with nothing out of pocket. You don't even have to have one of these units in your own location. And yet just for being part of iHub and doing that referral, you would able to be get a crazy amount of money. Now this is a high earning unit. This is not the norm. The average is around a hundred, like I said. Again, in this example, the average unit is earning 